What's good, YouTube? Today, people, today, we have another discussion video of sorts. If you are new to the channel, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Julian. I like doing discussion videos on the car culture, the car scene, and I sometimes like doing vlogs, uh, installs, that kind of stuff. But, like I said, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are discussing the top of the game right now in the car market. The top of the game, we have the BRZ and the GR86. They are outclassing every other sports car right now in the market. And if you are in the market to purchase said sports car, two-door coupe, whatever it is, I'm gonna tell you why in today's video, you should consider the kings of the car scene right now, BRZ and GR86. So real quick, I wanna go ahead and say, if at any point in this video do you find yourself enjoying the video, be sure to give me a like down below. How have the BRZ and the GR sit GR? Oh, train come in, let's go. Let's go! Oh my god. Alright, so you might be asking yourself, BRZ. 86, how do they make it to the top? And what does it mean that they're at the top? What does that mean? Why do you keep saying that? JT, Jules, Julian, whatever you wanna call me. Why? How are they at the top? Well, let me tell you. Number one, the price point for the value. What you're getting in this car, the price point, how much you're paying. So if you take a look at the MSRP of the BRZ in 86, if you get this car at MSRP, you're rolling in around 30,000, which is the baseline price, maybe even 28, 29 is the baseline price for these cars. And if you have gathered enough shekels to be able to get a, a monthly payment of uh, said new car, that price point for what you're getting in the BRZ in 86 compared to the other cars on the platform is the best bang for your buck, hands down. Rear wheel drive, 200 and something to the wheels, two door coupe, looks sleek. And the only other thing that compares to the BRZ in 86 on the market right now is the ND Miata. As soon as you hop in one of these cars, immediately you get your values worth. You get smiles per minute, smiles per second when you're driving this car, when it comes to steering in the corners. When you hop in one of these, immediately you are greeted with the cockpit that comes with the BRZ in 86 that is like no other on the market right now. Unless you are spending upwards of 60, 70,000 on A90 Supra 400Z, and even then, the interior of this car is really made for the driver. You got your ease of access, traction control off buttons that you could press at your leisure. You have your easy accessible e-brake, and then of course, your six speed manual gearbox to top it all off. A lot of the newer cars come with the automatic transmission, though they might be faster. Not everybody wants to rock the automatic transmission, but I could be wrong on that. Do you guys prefer the automatic transmission nowadays, or are you looking at a car like BRZ86 Miata, and it comes with the ever so sought after stick? So let's talk about what is on the car. You get your quality mission, mission. You get your Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. Good quality tires that you could hit the corners comfortably. The only thing on this car, if you're gonna be driving it with some aggression, is the brakes. So in the base premium limited trim models, you're gonna get your regular brakes. You're not getting the performance package brakes. However, if you do wanna get that performance package brake system, this car came out. Gen 2 BRZ86 came out. 2022 it is currently 2024 and we have seen we have gotten our upgraded trim models we have the Torino edition we have the brz ts and now we have the hakone 86 all of which come with the performance package brake system to give you the better stopping so if you want to spend some extra cash and you don't want to do the work yourself then you could easily just get the higher trim models that we've been blessed with on the track of the tires we have our 17 and 18 inch wheel options that complement the different colors that this car comes in we have red we have neptune blue we have green with the hakone edition white black two different grays we have all these beautiful colors that these cars come in not only that but people are wrapping these cars like crazy and coming up with some cool colors that honestly the lines complement any color this car has come in you can even get the solar shift orange 86 10th anniversary which i forgot to mention is also another trim model that this car comes 
it. Within two years, two years, we've gotten the 10th anniversary, the Hakone Edition, the Terreno, and the BRZTS. That is four trim models for this car. If you guys do not see the love that this chassis has gotten already, the aftermarket support for these cars, the wide body kits, the turbo applications, the supercharger applications, this car is rising to the top, if not is already on the top, like we have said in this video. I don't want to come after the ND Miata in today's video, but I think I'm going to have to do it that. This car beats it, man. The Gen 2 BRZ and 86 beats the ND Miata when it comes to best value bang for your buck. And what I want to mention is that you could be whatever age and still enjoy this car. It's modest 200 and something horsepower to the wheels is enough for somebody with not too much experience to hop in one of these. But that's also enough power to break the rear wheels if you want to do that. Not that I recommend it. Not only is this car the king of the market, but it is the king of teaching. And what I mean by that is if you are an inexperienced driver, this car teaches you number one, how to modulate throttle and brakes when you're in the corners. It teaches you how to drive. It teaches you handling, braking, steering, everything. Because when you are in the corners, when you're just driving in general, and as long as you're not in traffic, this car could teach you how to drive. All right. so. You guys might be saying to yourself, Jules, this car has no power, dude. I can't buy this car. I need a Supra. I need to go fast. Well, it's not a Supra, but it's close to it. Once you turbo it. Like I said earlier, we have more applications coming out for this car. The HKS turbo kit, the P&L turbo kit. We have the Herop supercharger kit. We have numerous boosting applications that you could throw to this car and make a reliable 350 to 400 horsepower, which is way beyond enough for how lightweight this chassis is. And on the topic of boosting these cars, I want to talk about how easy this car is to work on. The amount of room you have in the engine bay to get in there and do what you want. You don't have a ton of electrical stuffed into the engine bay like the A90 Supra. If you guys have worked on the A90 Supra, you know exactly what I mean. Not only do you have all that room in the engine bay, but when it comes to working on suspension, brakes, uh, snap. Not only do you have all that room in the engine bay too, fiddle around with whatever you want. You also have a reasonable geometry suspension system that is not absurd to work on like German cars. All right, so I know some of you guys are watching this video right now and are saying to yourselves, you haven't said a single bad thing about this car. The BRZ, the 86, not a single bad thing. Well, that's because you're the king. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, even the Kings have their flaws. I want to point out some of the bad things that I personally have ran into after owning this car for about a year now. Number one being the brakes. Like I've already mentioned, the brake pads are not too spiffy on this car. They're a little lacking, I would say, especially if you decide to do some aggressive driving. <laughs> They could last you if you're not beating on this car every day. Number two being the OEM studs on this car. So unfortunately, the Gen 2 BRZ and 86 got blessed with the terrible studs that the Gen 1s also suffered from. If you're taking off and on your wheels somewhat frequently, you'll come to find out the studs are not that strong. They corrode pretty easily. I mean, I think I had like 5,000 miles on this car and one of the studs already broke. I had anti-seize on there and one of the studs broke. So once you get this car, factory studs need to go. Replacing them with some ARP studs or anything like that is an easy enough job to do and it gives you that sense of security that your studs are not gonna break when you're driving or when you're taking off the wheels. And lucky for you guys, I have a video on how to install the ARP studs. I'll throw it in the description down below. And the final thing I want to tackle when it comes to the bad of the kings of the market right now is the oil drop. Now you guys might be wondering, what about the RTV? Nope, not an issue. Look it up. RTV is not too much of an issue. 80% not an issue when it comes to this car, maybe even 90%. Yes, you might have a little extra uh, goop laying around in your oil pan uh, in the clog tube, but it is reported to be a non-issue on this car due to the amount of cars affected by said issue, which is a 10%. Now that we got the RTV out of the way, let's put it to the side because I know I've mentioned it in my earlier videos. It is now a non-issue. We have to address the oil drop. Is it a big enough issue for you guys to worry about? No. Look it up 
online, yes, cars have suffered from the oil drop, but if you are thinking about tracking this car, then yes, you have to take necessary precautions to make sure you work around that oil drop issue. If you're driving this car aggressively here and there, you don't have to worry about it. But if you want a peace of mind, that sense of security, what I advise you to do is to invest into an oil pressure gauge. One that goes up to 150 PSI because on startup, this car goes above 100 PSI. It's a very easy install. You tap it into the block, you wire it through the firewall and straight to your fuse box. And lucky for you guys, I have an install video on that on my channel as well. All right, guys. So I do want to leave the question up to you. Do you guys agree with me that the BRZ and the 86 are at the top of the food chain right now when it comes to the car market when it comes to the other cars that compare to this car let me know in the comment section down below guys this platform the brz the 86 these are some of the last cars that we can see with the stick right now with a manual gearbox um if you guys have seen already there's tons of evs on the road right now and i feel like the stick is not necessarily less sought after but kind of is especially with the new bmws coming out they're all automatic and they go fast boom appreciate them why are they last i'm surprised we even got the second gen brz the 86 with a box motor and it's not an ev so i'm very grateful that we do have the second gen brz and 86 given to us will we see a third generation i don't know the way the car market is heading right now evs suvs are all over and you know it's uh it's not looking it's not looking too great so like i said the point in today's video is to enjoy what this car offers, enjoy what the other cars compared to this car offer. Am I saying keep your car stock? No. You guys already see we have modified the car. We have way more plans to do to this car. Educate yourself on this car. Don't just throw stuff at it and think you know what you're doing right away unless you have experience. But educate yourself on this platform. It's not about achieving the end of the build right away. You don't want to throw all this crap at it and be like, oh, well, I'm done already. It's about the journey. You guys already know, I don't want to sound like a freaking doofus dude, but you know, just enjoy the journey. Enjoy every single mod as you throw the mods at it. If you decide to go that way, if you're going to keep it stocked, then by all means. But I enjoy cars. I enjoy modifying cars. That's what I'm gonna tell you guys to do. All right, guys, I think that is a good enough. Sp oh my God, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that is a good enough spot as any to wrap up today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to give me a like down below it really goes a long way and while you're down there you can consider subscribing that shows me you guys like what i'm doing here and i can do more but other than that i want to give a shout out to today's video sponsor as per usual hachi electronics he is the supreme brz man 86 master of electronics go check him out man use code jewels in the description down below for free shipping and while you're down there, you could check out my socials, Julian Telesco. You find me everywhere, anywhere, and all the where. Instagram, TikTok, I like posting behind the scenes crap. I like posting car meets, all that cool stuff. Go check me out, man, in the description down below. But I think that's enough said for today's video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Wait, that was kind of weak. Peace. <laughs>